Okay, clan, welcome to gaining experience, a DM's journey. Um, first of all, let me just illustrate this. Dragon Age D&D is not cancelled. Like, it's still happening, we just need to sort things out. But I'm craving D&D, and my friend N7 Strider, if you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out already, it'll be linked in the description. Um, he's a D&D guy as well, and we decided, let's do a wee solo campaign. Um, we're still, I'm still learning the ropes of a lot of the DM tricks and traps. I'm not going to be following the rules exactly. I will be house ruling very much. And yeah, that's basically so. If you're going to backseat game and judge me, sorry, I suck. Screw you. So, and for anyone who's going to ask, we're using second edition, but it is house ruled ever so slightly at certain points. Um, we've already had one session off camera to get a lot of things sorted. And I'll let N7 in, uh, introduce his character if you want. So explain who your character is for people who don't know. Well, my character so far is unnamed. I'm just going with the mysterious The Agent. And he works for an organization. I'll let you talk a little bit more about your world, Scottish. Uh, but um, he works for an organization that essentially hunts monsters, but he doesn't hunt monsters himself he is a information gatherer um the organization that n7 works for he, he he's very well wondering what the agent class is it's basically a bard only with some changes here that he doesn't play the lute or musical instruments he's an information gatherer he's a jack of all trades and we're in my own custom world which is called the world of aruna and the organization n7 is part of it are called the judges of fables I have a little, I actually have some backstory written up about them. <laughs> um, that was how much of a geek I am. I, I'm not going to give too much away about them because N7 is a new recruit to them. He's only recently gained the rank of the Gatherer, which is the information people in the organization. Um, firstly, to join the judges, it isn't easy. It, you go through an initiation and a trial. And, and these initiations and trials are deadly. If you fail them, you're dead and the only way to truly be even put forward for these is to either basically they'll try to do it, either are born into it or a judge sees potential in you but it's very tricky to get into it and once you're into it it's even more difficult to get out of it um the first title that you gain if you pass that is a new blood and then you choose after being a new blood for such time to either become a judge which is basically the witch hunters of the world or a gatherer, which is an information gatherer of the world. That's all you know, N7. I'm not going to give any more away because there's still a lot of mystery in this world. And basically, the best way I can stop the judges is that they are witchers, but just a different title. Um, <laughs> um, they're not mutated, they're just really experienced warriors, mages, rogues, that kind of thing. Um, they aren't really religious, but they do have various faiths in their organization. And really they're the people you call when you don't know what the fuck you're dealing with and i'm trying to think what, but they're also a rather secret organization no one really knows where they came from except for the judges themselves no the only way to contact them is through an intermediary or a gatherer uh that's the only way to get in touch with them uh or you know a judge which is uh, if you know a judge yeah you're very well connected shall we say um so, M7, would you like to explain what your first mission was, and we'll give a little introduction of uh, where you started, shall we say. Well, uh, my character was dispatched to a uh, small town uh, called, uh, well, was, I think it was more medium-sized. Yeah. Um, with, um, yeah, he was dispatched by his handler um, to um, a town called Appletown. Um, of course, they grow... Um, apples there yep. they're known for them uh, they brew ciders and these apples are shipped throughout the land um, as well as the ciders and um, I was sent there to um, uncover uh, where children have been vanishing um, there was whispers and no one really knew what they were dealing with so hence the information gatherer would uh, was dispatched myself to assess the situation and determine what we were dealing with before actually sending a judge. Um, during the course of events, uh, it was uncovered that the uh, children were being abducted by a vampire and it wasn't just children being abducted, it was 
a fair few members of the town. Um, he had a small family, this um, master vampire, um, so to speak. And yeah, I heard the um, he, he didn't seem hostile though. He, he wasn't um, threatening. He just wanted to live in peace and seclusion. Um, I did speak with um, the innkeeper, who turned out to be a retired judge. He was hiding his true identity as an elf uh, with magic um, to make him look and appear human. Um, but he was a retired um, judge, which is a rare thing. Um, we sent for judges and they arrived, um, as well as my own handler. And there was a discussion between the judges and the vampire, and in the end we came to um, a truce with the uh, vampire agreeing he wouldn't feed on anyone who was unwilling, and the judges did say hey, if anything goes wrong, or if one of your own so happens to um, murder anyone, if there's any sort, sort of trouble, uh, we will be back and we will well, essentially just kill with murder and destroy you and your entire family. Yep. So, um, yep. and that's where we left off, I believe I'm probably still in Appletown. Uh, yeah, you're still in uh, Appletown right now. Um, you de first let me just say, I'm being very lenient with the experiences. I'm, I go with the role of experience, I determine how well you do it for role playing, combat, and I don't really use the D&D one, but you did level up to level 2, you've already rolled for health, I believe, haven't you? Yes, I got a one, yeah, so that was seven. Yes. I went from one extreme to the other when rolling yes. for health. <laughs> uh, and uh, now, uh, as a bard, uh, you normally didn't get a spell at level one, but I gave you one at level one because I felt like it. Um, you also get one more level one spell. You can either pick it or you can roll a d45 and see what you get. How do I roll a d45? Uh, just slash r one d45. <laughs> Like in roll twenty, you can roll basically any dice number. So just slash same as ever. Slash R D forty five. All one thing. Uh, yeah. No, sure. just seems to want to. What did I do wrong? <laughs> um, this is a learning experience for me, guys. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's slash R D forty five. Oh, there you go. Ah, you put a, you put a space there. Okay, so, yeah, um, space. Yeah, space. Yeah, so you got a 16, which is Erase. Let's have a look and see what that does, and uh, we'll not need to nerf it. Uh, the Erase spell removes... I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, I'll explain what it is here. Uh, the Erase spell removes writing in e of either magical or mundane nature from a scroll, or from two to two one or two pages of, of paper, parchment, similar substance. It removes explosive ruins, glyphs, wards, serpents, snakes, sigils, wizard mark, but it does not remove illusionary script ones. So basically, you've just got a rubber spell. Can I restore it after I've erased it? Or uh, no, it uh, erases magical writings must be touched. Uh, you have to touch it, of course, and there is a percentile chance per level of uh, it being erased completely. But once you've erased it, it is gone. Ah, uh, well that could come in handy for my job if I need to get rid of some information, then yes. so, yeah, that yes. could be useful. How many uses do I get of that? Uh, one Can... per day. Uh, now, uh, I did think about all my magic system. Um, I've always liked the idea of the materia system from certain Final Fantasy games, where the spells in some kind of orb. I've always liked that, but I'm going to nerf it quite heavily. Um, in my world, to memorize spells, you have to memorize them the day of, as is, you need to sleep for eight hours, and then you wake up, and then you have to sit down for, like, for the first level spells, maybe 10, 20 minutes, and the higher level spell, the longer you have to sit down and study for your spell. And you put it into a sort of, like, glass container, sort of like a glass ball. And you have that on you until you either cast it, or you use the ball, and it can only be used by your person. And to prevent you from using higher level spells, if you happen to find them, um, if, you, if you're not on a, the right level to cast the spell, there is a chance that the spell could either backfire and cause you harm or have completely unexpected effects that you would want. So it's very recommended that you do not attempt to cast like a level 10 or 20 spell, which uh, is called Wish. Don't attempt it. <laughs> the higher the level of the spell, the more bad the repercussions could be. 
I'm guessing if you're trying to cast a magic spell and you get immolated from the inside, it's never a desired effect. No, no, no not a lot. So I'm still making the effort about Leia, but that's basically it. Um, you can't just like throw the thing down. You actually have to pull it out and then you have to do a bit of spell, so it still takes some time. But uh, things like components and all that are used up in the preparation for the spell. So uh, right now you can have two spells per day, first le two first level spells per day, which you have Grease and now Erase. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much everything. Um, uh, now, after the first session we had, your handler said he had two missions for you. Well, he had said he has a mission for you, but he has two ones, and he's going to leave it up to you which one you wish him to take. Um, there is a a priest in a town uh, not far off. Uh, I'm actually going to get my map up here. I need to get oops over here. I'm going to get my map up here. I need to remember the town. And what's the name? Uh, named and ready. There we are. Oops, sir. Uh, in a town called Look Lookerets. Uh, it's quite. It's uh, two towns over from where you are. Um, he is being hunted by a band of marauders and bandits. He has no understanding why, but he does believe that there are some strange circumstances with him. Uh, the bandits seem to have the have potential magical abilities he can't explain how but he's no friend of the uh, judges and uh, they say that he is it might be a simple task but we would need to make sure this priest is very well protected he's a very well respected priest and um yeah so and the other task is a mysterious tower has appeared uh, just outside the town of fleta uh, it's roughly two or three towns over from you. It appeared literally out of nowhere. No one knows where it came from. And it's, and from what the judges know, um, they have sent a party to investigate it already, but nothing's been heard from with that. The information is rather old. But that's the most... Pre that's the one that, the, the, that probably piques your interest the most. So your handler has offered you which one would you like to undertake and go and gather information for. Well, let's see. I've got an old priest who's probably going to die pretty soon anyway. It's just that these marauders are going to assist him or a mysterious freaking tower. The decision is um, is natural. The tower. It okay. just appeared out of nowhere. That's, yeah, that's okay. my deal uh, right there. Okay, uh, so you're choosing the tower. Uh, your handler states you very well. Uh, you'll head to the town of Fleta, which is roughly, uh, using my handy dandy map, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight. It's about an eight day journey away and uh, your handler states, uh, would you, rec would you, you, you've got a host, don't you? No. No, okay. Uh, your handler says, uh, would you like to make the travel on foot or would you like us to supply you with a horse? Um, I could probably hitch a ride if there's some, okay. if there's some, uh, apple carts heading that way, they do. Send okay. them throughout the. I don't need to waste the order's money on a horse. I can just hitch on a cart that might be heading there. Okay, very well. Uh, so your handle says uh, we're leaving some judges here. I'm going to depart. Uh, you make your way to Fletcher and investigate the tower. You gather information. Uh, if you need to defend yourself, do so. Uh, but if you do feel as though you could maybe do not venture too far. Uh, if you have to enter the tower. But avoid it if at all possible, and if needed, judges will be dispatched. Understood. And, and uh, he departs. Uh, so you're still in the town of Abton. It's been the next day, and there are some. There are roughly four judges left in town. You don't know any of them by their name except for the uh, elf, whose name I've actually forgotten. <laughs> um, Green. That was it. Green. He was nickname was Green. So. You're in the end right now. Uh, Clarata, the vampire who you made a deal with, the judges, sorry, made a deal with, uh, he hasn't came back yet, but uh, so far everything seems fine. So, what do you do from this point? Um, can I speak with uh, Green, actually? The, sure. uh... okay. So, is my camera uh, flickering? Yes. Uh, yeah, went, went a wee bit, just right. went a little brace, alright. Uh, so you're talk to Green. Okay, you go up to Green. He's just behind the bar, cleaning a couple of mugs. So there's a uh, yes gatherer. What uh, what is it? 
Um, I was wondering if you'd heard anything about this uh, tower that's appeared uh, quite a distance away. Um, you must have had some old contacts from back in the old days. Mm. Uh, I only know what the what I've overheard. Uh, it just appeared out of nowhere. I, you'd have to go to the town, and maybe the maybe the people there will know more information about it. Um, it I, I'd recommend just uh, I think probably a couple of apple carts uh, are heading out, so you could probably maybe persuade one of the riders to give you a lift. One final thing before I go. Uh, do you know who I'd happen to speak to if I needed to hitch a ride on one of the carts? Just uh, look for one of the carts outside. Normally they're quite... You, you pay them a gold or two and they'll gladly take you to any town that they're heading to. You may have to ask them where you're going to first. Okay, no problems. Uh, yeah, I'll head out and find one of the carts that seems to be leaving the town. Okay, uh, you head out and you see you see about four, you see only one cart prepping up, get putting some apples on there, and a gentleman just stacking them up with his wee son next to him, the piling them up. And uh, do you approach? Yes. Oh uh, yes, uh, uh, he looks a bit middle aged. Uh, how may I help you? Um, I was looking if I could hitch a ride and take passage on your cart, and we could negotiate some sort of deal. Uh, where are you heading? I forgot the name of the town. Did you say it was Fleta? Fleta, that's what. Uh, um, okay, he goes. Uh, I'm not heading there. Um, I could take you as far as Huthra. It's uh, only uh, it's a two two four days journey away. It's only the town over. I could take you as far as there, but I'm heading in the opposite direction. Now, are there any other carts leaving today that might be uh, heading where I'm going? Uh, not to my knowledge, but if uh, I can take you as far as uh, Huthada, and uh, he gives you a little sly wink and says, uh, "It's on Cladata." Yeah. Okay. We will. Uh... If we could negotiate the price? Uh, Clarata will cover you this time. Uh, you helped... He, he owes you one, shall we say. Sorry, I forgot the guy's name. The vampire, I, was like, the, I, I, I was a bit... I was a bit... What? It's the, <laughs> yeah. the vampire. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I enjoy my memory just then. It's like a, it's uh, a, he... Any time you see one of us, if you see me in any town, I will give you a free ride if you need. But I'm heading in the opposite direction. I'm actually heading to uh, Lurix. Yeah, then I'll, I'll allow him to take um, him as far as he can take me. Thank you, sir. Uh, just hop in the back and uh, help yourself to an apple or two if you want. Um, is there any of that delicious cider by any chance in one uh, of these crates? I only deliver the, the uh, ingredients. I don't make it myself. <laughs> uh, very well. Uh, uh, he, stop okay. in the back. Okay, he opts in and you're heading out of town. As you're heading out of town, you do give me a perception check. D20 plus your perception. So D20 plus perception. I'm going to do this the other way because um, it's no the problem. only way I know. No problem. Plus perception is nine. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't see it, never mind. Okay, uh, you're heading there, and um, I'm assuming you'd make general chit chat with the driver, or do you try and keep to yourself? I think I should probably keep my business to myself. If he makes conversation with me, I will. I will initiate. He does just ask you general chit chat questions, how you enjoy the day, things like that. Uh, his son is quite interested by you. He asked uh, a couple of random questions here with him, but nothing too strenuous. And uh, yeah, let's just double check to see if anything happens on your way there. Uh, no, uh, you get about, you're about two days on your journey. It's going to take an all two to get there. Uh, you, it's it's night time, you're camping, and uh, I'm assuming you're taking watch or you're just relaxing. I'm, I'm taking watch, I'm always alert. Okay. Uh, 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 give me a perception check again. Uh, you, there's a wee campfire there. Oof. Oh yeah, you see it definitely going. Uh, you see uh, a small pack of wolves off in the distance. You can see that they seem to be eyeing you up. Uh, whether or not they're going to come and attack you, you are unsure of at the moment. 
Could I keep my hand crossbow just just to hand, to hand just to make absolutely sure? Yeah, yeah, no problem. You you cock your crossbow, and they seem to be keeping their distance so far. But I'm assuming you're going to be keeping an eye on them. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, at least about three or four of them just bugger off, but there is one that uh, seems to be kind of determined to keep 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 an eye on you, but... And let's check, see if he does anything. Doesn't Ooh. want to stay with the pack, huh? Yeah. Uh, he ch starts charging. Okay, I'm going to fire straight away. Okay, give me a d20, you're level 2, and you're proficient in hand crossbows, slash crossbows. So give me a d20 plus 3. Does that factor in my plus 1 to hit as well? Yeah, like that's a plus 1 for... Plus, I think it's plus... No, plus 1 for being proficient. Oh, sorry, it's only plus 2, sorry. Plus 2 in total with uh, your proficiency and your level. So, yeah. So it is, it's 3 all together? Yeah, 3 all together. Right. Okay, yeah, I think that's... That is a wolf. That's, that's definitely a bloody hit. Roll your damage. Which is sorry. Okay, let me get uh, equipment out. I think it was D four, wasn't it? I think it's only D four. Let me just add uh, magic. Let's just get past that. Where's equipment? Where are you, you little bugger? PC treasures combat. Where is equipment? Is that in the uh, DMG? Not the. Going to be in the DMG. I think it is a d4. Just roll me a, a d4 plus one. So. Oh yeah, you skew, uh -huh. this, you skew this thing right in the head and it just goes <laughs> about 10 feet off from you. So, yeah, you, you, you kill it. With the two? It rolled shit on its health. <laughs> it, rolled a, it rolled a bloody natural two. Oh, so you only just killed it then? Yeah, you only just killed it, so... Yeah, it's, it's dead, and it's about 10 feet off. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the um, the hand crossbow was the lowest dice. It wasn't a d6 or anything. Yeah, I think it was. I can't remember what book has the equipment in. I think it doesn't. Okay, wait, so what do you do after you you just skewer it right through the eye? Uh, well, we're just resting for the night, aren't we? Aren't we yeah. just... Do you know I go and examine it? Maybe scan it? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. There might be some good eating on it. Okay, you check it. It just has... There's nothing on it. It's just a bloody wolf. Um, you can cock off a... You're not proficient in uh, animal skinning or anything, are you? No. Okay, so you can just you just hack off a couple of bits of meat and I'm assuming you just cook them for the night? Yeah, it probably won't be very very tasty, but what the hell. Yeah, okay. You, you, you get a stone or a pot and pan after the guy and you just cook a couple of couple of uh, wolf steaks which uh roll me a d20 plus your intelligence to see how well you cook the cook the steaks i'm guessing extremely badly <laughs> you haven't only met real lucky i mean intelligence isn't that bad actually so. oh, fair. Yeah, they're, they're moderate they're all right they're not fantastic but they're all right okay there we are. i found the bloody thing so, uh... Just, okay, so night passes uneventfully, just a wolf being... You just had some nice wolf steaks. So, uh, yeah, hand crossbow is 1d4. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll, 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 I'll keep it on. <laughs> right. Okay, so night goes by uneventfully, next two days go by, and you make it to... Huthran, is that? Uh, Huthera. Yeah, you make it to Huthera, and the guy says, this is where we'll be... This is where we'll be parting ways. Uh, I thank you, sir, sir, but my uh, journey and um, task are far from, from complete. Ah, yeah. Can I uh, can I slip the guy a uh, coin anyway, just for? Uh, yeah, how much you how much you slip him? Um, just the one gold piece. I have to slip him a gold piece, please. Thank you very much. You don't need to. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you have and, a good day. Uh, and make sure you split that with the boy, and I'll give the boy just a little wink. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be taken care of. He'll be taken care of. Uh, you have a good day, and uh, you're always welcome in the Apple Town. Thank you, sir, and uh, I'm afraid I must be off. Okay. 
Uh, you're in Huthra, which is a fairly medium-sized city. Uh, it's, it's sort of like a crossroad city. It's the main way once you head out of um, once you head away from the big capital down below, which is um, uh, Gunterra. Uh, you, there's only real two ways you can go. You can either go to Tumbe or Huthrera, but from this, it's, it's a crossroad city, and you go right or left to get to Fleta, and above that is forest mostly. So, Fleta's about maybe a four or five day journey. So I, I guess I can't see the tower from this distance. It's not fast or anything. No, no. It's it's not... It, it, you, from your description, the tower just seems to be like a tower. It doesn't seem to be massive, but. Yeah, you, you don't get, you can't see it from here, but it's mostly dense forests from all around. Um, do you inquire about anything in turn, or do you go and maybe try and get a carriage or something? Um, should probably look into getting there as soon as possible. Um, don't really need to inquire about anything. These guys nearby, possibly. No, let's no. Let's just uh, catch up on rumors at the inn. Actually, there might yeah. be some bit of gossip uh, or something. Right. We have been traveling for a few days. Something might have hit this uh, town by now. You come across the Shattered Blade Inn, and give me a charisma check to see how many rumors you get a hold of. D twenty plus fifteen. Uh, plus your charisma. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, now you get plenty of rumors. Uh, they're charismatic. Uh, okay, you. The couple of the rumors you hear are, you hear apparently you do hear of one or two rumors regarding the tower. Um, supposedly, Fletcher sent out a small group of people who went to investigate, and none of them ever came back. And it has been at least a week since they've done that. Um, the tower, from what they can tell, from the distance that they are, the rumor you hear is that there's conflicting rumors of whether it's a purely black tower. Or a pure greyish tower. Like it's either a normal tower or it's pure jet black. Um, there's supposedly some rumours of monsters appearing nearby it, of a dark cloud over it. Um, you also hear a couple of rumours about the local lords supposedly been sleeping around with uh, some lowland merchants, some prostitutes as well. Uh, you hear about a couple of mothers in town. And you also hear a rumour or two about supposedly. Uh, the Tomb of the Fallen being robbed. Hmm. Did you say the Tomb of the Fallen was on my way there? Uh, or the was that of, heading in the other direction? Uh, the Tomb of the Fallen is... It, there's no direct road to the Tomb of the Fallen. What you know about the Tomb of the Fallen is uh, this is where the Fallen from uh, a Great War are rested of all races, humans, dwarves, elves, uh, basically it's a place of uh, where all races are, can go and mourn their dead. Um, no one's been buried there in over a hundred or so years due to some unnamed event. It is kept up tidy, there, an, there are armed guards there, there are people who take care of it. Um, but there is a rumour flying about that, is, um, that it was robbed and it is roughly, it, there's no direct road, you'd have to go through the forest to get there. Can I make some sort of check to see if this is might be like worthwhile to, to my a, character, it's, or is it just a personal judgment? Personal judgment. There's no check to determine when this is, but um, all you've heard from the Tomb of Fallen is mostly from stories that the judges have said, and uh, it's so, it is a very uneasy place. But there's been no incident there in hundreds of years. Uh, but the grave robbers are grave robbers are a common thing, but the, this is very rare for a tomb like this to be robbed, especially with its significance within the world. I don't think it'd take a real cold, <laughs> cold-hearted guy to just ransack something like that. And there are um, many legendary warriors who were buried there, even kings and queens. This but, is something that I might have to investigate further. Okay. It um, might have significance to what's going on. I mean, it seems weird that it would happen round, round about this time. No, no, that, this room was uh, fairly recent, so... The, the, but the, the, the bartender you ask about it says, I wouldn't put too much faith in it, in all honesty, but if someone did rob it, they would have got some really nice stuff out of it. I can imagine with the sort of people who were buried there, kings, queens... Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, someone would kill for the for that... that you, you've heard, you, he's talking to the bartender, you're talking to the bartender, he goes, the, the, the crown of wishes, you ever hear that? Um, the legend escapes me, I'm afraid. 
supposedly this is one of the oldest kings uh supposedly it's a, a crown that grant at least three wishes i'm pretty sure they would have believed it ages ago but yeah if that crown was in there can you imagine how much that'd be worth well uh <laughs> just it's waiting uh with regardless of the wishes it's way weight and uh in gold and you know kings are always lavish it must be encrusted with rubies the size of my fist and things like oh, that oh it wouldn't surprise me but that 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 that's that's one of the stories from an old king as is the crown of wishes is an old story it's it could be fake it could be real but the crown alone would be worth a small fortune and then there's the the blades the armors the Oof, just imagine the treasures. The, 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 I'm sorry, I'm getting off track here. That, that's about... Yeah, so he's talking about various ru ru magical items that were in there and supposedly rooms filled with treasure and all that, but it's a very difficult place to get in and even getting out of it, it's it's basically a maze within it. So tomb after tomb after tomb after tomb. Um, you ever seen you've seen Angel the episode towards the end where it shows the where the old demons are buried? I don't think I saw that one. No. Okay, so basically it's basically a it's basically like it goes from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. This thing in Angel, this tomb is deep. It goes underground uh, as far as the dwarves have dug. Some people say so. It's fairly deep, and there are a lot of people buried there. But it is a maze. So, from what you can gather, yeah, might be best to leave that place alone for now. I'll probably end up getting lost just trying to find the stolen items. Yeah. Uh, well, which graves have been robbed themselves would probably be quite a weighty task. So, um, okay. yeah, I think I'm just going to continue on. Okay. Uh, this tower has me interested. Okay, yeah, so you, that's basically all the rumours. You get a couple of other wee small rumours with scandals and occasional wee job about a, a wee... A wee shy job here or there that goes by you, but nothing major. So, uh, do you investigate anything else in town? Do you go to a shop to buy anything? Um, how are my provisions looking? Uh, it's bit, you've, I said you started with two weeks worth of rations, so you've gone through four or five days so far. Yeah, I've still got a week's left, and it's a, did you say two day, day, day journey uh, there? It's about a five to six day journey, it's a five to eight day journey, depending on the weather and all that, so. I might want to actually get some, another week's worth of provisions then, like uh, things that'll last, like dried meats, things uh, like just, that. Uh, wheat provisions and rations, it includes like meats and all that, instead of saying, oh, you buy a loaf of bread, you buy a stick of jerky, you buy this, you buy that, it's just general rations. Um, I'm just a uh, week's worth of rations will cost you five gold. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, my apologies. Do, 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 do. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, three gold. Just a standard week's worth of rations. Uh, right. do, you, do you want anything else or? Um. No, I'll. Um... Oh, actually, how many crossbow bolts do I have left? Uh, you've used. You recovered all the ones you've used so far, so. You've still got your full set in the moment, so. I think you said I had 75 originally, didn't you? I think, was, I, think I said two quivers fell. Um, which, I, I can't remember, let me just double check. I can't remember how much a quiver. That would be about 20? Uh, didn't say how many there are in each one, but yeah, I'll say you've got, I'll say you've got 40, 40 at the moment. So like 10 per quiver, I'll say. Can't find it in the book. Uh, and I forgot. To, I've got to make a note of it, and I also forgot to uh, did, did, um, to subtract them every time I made a kill with it. So and I'll say you recovered most of them. Um, bolt and tackle, block and tackle, bolt case. Uh, yeah, I'd say that like if you want to buy an quiver, it's uh, three gold. Uh, no, I'm still good with the ones I've got, because generally I can only use an opening shot in combat and then reloading it's just too long, so I've got to get in there in dirty with my knives. Yeah, uh, so nothing else? Don't visit Blacksmith or anything, so? Um, no, I think I'm pretty good at the moment. Um, okay. Unless he can alter my daggers, any, uh, like an upgrade, he, or... He could make them look prettier. 
they do the job. They they kill things. That's good enough for me. It's just a dagger's a dagger. Like, you could get you can't really get any upgrades on it unless it's magically enchanted. Which in this world, enchanted items are expensive and rare to come by in some cases. So yeah, yeah. We're not all, getting any anytime soon. We're talking thousands and thousands of gold. You've got one enchanted item, the wee pendant you've got, which gives you one reroll per day. Yeah. So and that was given to me by the order, so I don't, I don't think I'm going to come um, across anything like that again. No, 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 that was a gift. That was a generous thing by my hands, because we're having fun here, and I don't want to kill you in one day, <laughs> like your last character. <gasps> my last character survived. No, you got cleaved in half. Oh yeah. Oh, it's depressing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Seven's last character was also a bard, and he got cleaved in half because he went up against a guy with a massive, bl with a massive, uh, was it volcanic steel sword? Yeah, he was like twice the size of me. Um, just yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nasty stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, you do you just want to go and chart a horse or anything else, or do you want to go maybe buy a horse, or do you want? To... A carriage. I'll, hit, I'll, I'll hitch a ride on a carriage as well. Uh, of course, uh, it's going to cost too much. Yeah, it's going to cost about five gold for the journey. To hitch a ride? Yeah, yeah. Yep, just hitch a ride then. I'll okay. uh, subtract that. Uh, you. Uh, no, 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 I'd say you get there, no problem. It's a fairly musty day. There are a couple people in there with you, mostly families. Um, and uh, yeah, you get to flitter within uh, about eight days. So I'll just subtra subtract that uh, provisions again. Yeah. The uh, one that I got there. You get there and the town seems peaceful and you do give me a perception check. I keep forgetting the, uh, my uh, attribute numbers. I should really remember them. You'll get there eventually. Uh, okay, I'll just say it. You do see the tower off in the distance, but you don't get much more than that. What coloration uh, is it? Can I tell from it? It looks grey, but in some lights it looks black. It, it's difficult for you to tell. So there's none of the storm clouds and not, not winged the, not, beasts that I've been hearing with the, about not, around not, it. Then. Not with a nineteen. Not with a nineteen. <laughs> not with a nineteen. Right. Um, okay. Is there anyone like suspicious oh, yeah, you, 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 you lurking get, around you, you in the get, area? You get in town and. Um, there is, uh, you don't, everyone's just gone about the day, like, nothing's strong. You do get a couple of people who glance over to it, but that's mostly out of, like, what the fuck is that over there, and mild curiosity. So, if you want any more information, you're going to have to talk to people or go to the local inn. Um, are there any guardsmen around, actually? Guardsmen, uh, you see, um, you see one or two people dressed in makeshift armors, like very, very tattered leather armor, and there is one or two people walking around in full three-quarter plate mail, um, but those guys are mostly just lolling about and not doing much. So they're they're just small for the town, like neighborhood yeah, watch. Sort of thing. Plato is not a big town. It's fairly, it's like a village. It's slightly bigger than a village. Right. Maybe um, a population of 400 at most, if that. Well, the inn's always the good source for information. There's always people always. in there. That's where I'm going to head. Okay, you get to the village and bucket. Uh, you get in there. Nice. <laughs> I'm coming up with these names and flagging my break. Uh, you get into that and it's, it's fairly quiet. You do see one or two people in the corners drinking away their sorrows there's the local alcoholic is in the background going um one more he's too drunk to get any sense from then yeah yeah he's pretty fucking wasted <laughs> there, there, there is a bar there is a barmaid um she's she actually looks fairly burly she looks fairly well toned she doesn't look like one of those ones you would slap their ass and they'd be like oh ha, ha. she looked like she would slap you or knock you in your ass throw you out the pub I've met many a woman like that. Um, I'm going to speak to her, actually. How may I help you? Care for a drink? Uh, no, I was just wondering. That tower, that yeah. wasn't here on the last time I came through this village. When was the last time you came through? It was a while ago. Is it a recent construction? I take it you haven't heard then. 
That's the, that's the, that's the whole reason people ever come to this town. They don't come to just to relax. They come for the bloody tower. It's it, the tower appeared literally out of nowhere a week ago. Sorry, um, three weeks ago. Appeared. It's, yeah, like out of nowhere. People have been coming to look at it, and a couple of people have went to it. None have came back. Has anything ever come out of the tower? Nope. It just appeared, and now it stands there. Yeah, it just stands. Look, I see it as a tourist attraction. All the people come here, they want to look at it. They come in here, get drunk. I make money off it. I don't give two shits about it. Unless a dragon comes out of it, I don't care. Is there anyone in this town who may know a little bit more about it? Um, well, like a wizard or a magician? Is someone like that or a scholar? Larry, you want a sorcerer or a magician, you'd want, you, you'd have to go like four or five times back. We don't even have a shaman. We go a priest who doesn't know, who worship the gods. But no, nah, like, if you want to know, look, we sent a, when it first appeared, we sent four or five people over to investigate it. None of them came back. One of them was my son. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure he's not dead. He's a tough bastard. <laughs> but like, look, if you want to go, if you want to be like everyone else and go to that bloody tower, on you fucking go. Order a drink. What is it? I meant no offense, but I'm, I'll leave you now. Thank you. And she just turns away and just, you get a feeling that she doesn't like new people. <laughs> yeah, she's. Uh... Gonna have to watch that tone if she's wanting tourists to come in and spend the money there. Jeez. Um, um, <laughs> uh, it's about mid afternoon if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, you. So what do you do now? Like she, she seemed a bit unwelcome, but you may have touched a nerve or two when you talked about the tower. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to play it dumb. Like I know nothing about it. <laughs> um, she did mention this priest, and all he ever talks about is the gods. But I get the feeling he might know something so i'm you... gonna i'm just gonna inquire with him quickly if, if he's just gonna start rabbiting on like oh it's a sign from the gods and i'm gonna get out of there okay just give me one moment to get the gods the my my word document on the gods to see what one this guy would be worshiping um but yeah you go to the local local um the church it's a fairly small it's like a house we have with a holy symbol so this is a i'm just about one he would, he would be I don't see someone. Uh, you, you can tell from your average knowledge that this is a church to the goddess of the forest. Uh, god, goddess, different. Gender doesn't really matter with the gods in this world, but uh, Intra. Uh, normally a neutral god, as long as you don't fuck with nature, she doesn't fuck with you. <laughs> so, yeah. He, he's a god, he's a sort of god. Of, he's, a, he's a priest of that. So, he you see him in there just cleaning the place up where we broom with a couple of wee disciples here or there. Is there any correct way to address a priest? No, you don't need to go, Father, how are you doing? You just go, hey there, priest, or just hey. There's no direct, you just go, you don't have to be polite or anything. You're just like talking to anyone else in this world. Right, I was wondering if there was unless some correct way. Unless you're a fellow priest in which you go, yo, priesty, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yo, priest, my brother. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's just sweeping away. Okay, um, May I take a moment of your time, sir? Oh, my child. Uh, what, what, what would you like to hear? What, 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 what brings you here? Uh, the, the goddess Entra uh, like uh, worships all who worship nature. Um, I was wondering. You seem like a wise and learned man. The tower. Ah, the tower. An, a, an insult to Entra herself. Do you know where it came from? It simply appeared out of nowhere as of the, the as a work of a god. Uh, not your god then. No, no, Entra. That no, Entra worst of nature. That thing is an abomination to the, the world of nature. I'm uh, hoping to gather information. Do you know anything at all that could aid me? I get a very uneasy thing. Uh, I've communed with the god uh, Entra and. A very uneasy feeling comes across me when I look upon that tower. It's evil. Well, it just appearing, it's definitely not natural. 
No, no, not natural indeed. Uh, a very a powerful sorcerer, priest, or cleric could maybe do something like this, but it would take someone of immense power to create something of that large out of nothing. Okay, uh, um, thank you for your time, sir, but I think I should be departing. I would not head towards that tower, my, my child. It is unwise. Best to avoid it from now until... Until Intra herself takes it away. Okay, thank you for your warning, but uh, I must depart. May Intra watch over you. <laughs> okay, you depart, and you hear a bit of a commotion coming from the from the gates of town. Well, the, the, the signpost of town, the big archway that's normally outside of the village. You see quite a few people running towards it, including some guards. Okay, I'm going to head over there, but I just want to stay at the sidelines and just watch the situation before I get involved. Okay. Uh, you head over there, and uh, there's a, quite a crowd gathering, and uh, do you try and squeeze through and get towards the front? Because it's quite a large crowd, so you'd have to squeeze pretty far forward, unless you climb on top of a building or something. Yeah, is there... A building nearby that I could actually serve or like yeah, there, a side there's, there's a, somewhere I can look down. There's an awning in or something so uh, yeah you can climb up it no problem don't need to worry about it. And you yeah see, I have the skills. So. Yeah you see um, the people seem to be staying towards the gate but you see a, a man holding a side coming towards the town like from the direction of the tower. Okay I'm gonna get it. I'm going to get down there and speak to this guy because um, uh, he's got information and I need it. Okay. Uh, as you get close to him, he puts his hand and says, Stay! Why? Don't. He, he's trying to say something, but he, just, he doesn't seem to want to come out. He says, Don't go! And you hear someone says, Michael! Is that you? And you see the bartender, the bartender lady trying to push her way through it, so... Okay, can I turn to one of the villagers and just ask them to uh, fetch all, a priest or some sort of you healer? Run, or... You were around towards them, you'd have, you showed back to visitors. Yeah, yeah, one of them runs off, but you see uh, the, you see the bar, barmaid trying to literally charge towards him to embrace him, so... Jesus, people, get a better gal over where she's a big woman. Yeah, okay, so you just let her go? No, I'm gonna just grab grab her and just put my arm in front of her. Uh, no, this could be bad. Give me, a, give me an attack. Just give me a, D, a flat D twenty plus one plus two, uh, just to grab her. So see if you can grab her with her. Uh, okay, she's not doing anything. See if she manages to take. Oh, she manages to dodge it in a way. She is quite nimble for a burly woman. She dodges it away, <laughs> runs towards him, embraces the guy, and then. You, you see the guy as he tilts his head up. You see green ooze seeping from his eyes and his nose. And as she gets close to him, he explodes into a... He literally explodes into a green gel. And parts of his body lie there. And she gets... Does she get hurt? Uh, oh, pff, yeah, she gets covered in it. <laughs> Well, she's she a big woman. <laughs> There's a lot no, of areas to cover. She she's not big as in big that, big as in like tones, like muscular. Oh, no, no, I'm not making any bad <laughs> yeah, jokes. Yeah. She's, she's, she's a just Amazonian woman. Yeah, I'm sort of like an Amazonian. Uh, but yeah, she gets drenched in the stuff and yeah, the the green goes everywhere. In fact, give me a dex check to see if you can avoid avoid getting any of it over you. D20 plus my dex? Yep. Oh no, you get some of it out of, your, out of your shoe and your boots and all that in it. You see it and it is actually eating away at your shoe. Okay, I need to kick those suckers off right now. Yeah, you kick it off and you just see this burly woman just start to dissolve. Like, you can hear her scream in agony as literally she's been liquefied. Uh, yeah. Can I put her out of her misery with the crossbow ball? Uh, give me a d20 plus your crossbow hit. Uh, she's just like dropped to it. She's dropping to her knees and she's like screaming in agony. So, so it's a plus three, three was plus, it? Plus three plus two for back attack. Uh, and she's hair and she's not moving too much. I'll give you a plus four. So d20 plus seven. So she, it was plus seven. Yeah. Right. So she's not moving or anything. So she's. Oh yeah, you you skewer right in the right between the eyes, and she just 
body to the ground and just you just see her slowly be weathered away right down to the bones and yeah it's not a pretty sight yeah i'm not getting that crossbar bolt back either oh no and you're now not wearing any shoes yeah i'm gonna have to purchase some more um and you just see people standing there going and a couple of screams and then you see the priest you were talking to come forward and he's just like I enter and he's just he gets down to his knees and starts praying. <laughs> Can I uh, there's nothing really left to inspect really, is there? Uh, um, you, but the weird thing is though, you while you see that the the girl, the woman has been dissolved and pretty much all the flesh of the guy has just been eaten away, wherever the green stuff has landed on the ground it's actually not doing anything to the ground. It's not dissolving it, it's not changing it, it's not really doing anything from what you can tell. So it's only organic matter it seems to target. Uh, no, organic matter is plants and dot and all that as well. It's not affecting that at all. Like it's not dissolving it. It's... So it's only living things that <laughs> dissolves. Uh, or do you, do you inspect any of the uh, goop? It's a people dissolving goop. I don't have to get two claws, but yeah, I want to inspect it. Okay, you pull, you pull a cup, you put, grab a stick, and then you start uh, examining it. And when you put the so, how much were you, you investigating the skeleton or just a general pile somewhere? That was breaking up a little there. Uh, are, you, you, are you examining the woman's dead body, or are you uh, just examining the, a random goop pile somewhere? Just yeah. Let's start with the. The targets, the woman's body, if you want. Right, uh, the, the, it's only been like maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and this stuff has eaten away at her body down to the bones and has made them pearly white. These are the cleanest bones you've ever seen. <laughs> um, and it has, for some, some strange reason, it has actually left her clothes intact. And a small, oh, and a small pouch at her side, which is covered in the goop, which yeah, you see, I don't it, which touch you, you see a couple of gold coins fall out of. Uh, and the main puddle, the, uh, that, what that's, was that's, once she, a guy. She's, she's still covered in the goop, and the main part of the you just see his legs, there's bones of his bones of his legs just there, but these ones are a bit more uh, destroyed and a bit more dissolved away for some reason. Right. I think the next thing I need to be doing is sending a message to my fellow judges. Mm. Um, uh, give me uh, one last perception check before you go. Uh, do you notice that the, there's a dead twig on the ground as you're walking by, still like, contemplating this, and you see when the goop, the goop that's on it, that it starts to pr sprout uh, leaves again. Ah! Let me just do something quick. Nope, okay. Right. Now, the priest was saying the tower was um, a crime against Enthra, but this seems to be restoring nature. But yet, yeah, it's killing man, and that, I guess, kind of destroys nature. Believe in what you will. And you see the priest as he tilts his head up, he notices some the, the, the ground where the goop has gone is becoming more nurtured and you see him approach one of the wee goop piles. He's... Don't get too close, but any information you have will be... Uh... He, he, he's just unfounded, he's just like, he's just looking at it and just being like... Like he's not even, he, he doesn't even like he's aware of your presence. Just consider this. It may have this effect on plant life, but consider where it come from. Two people are dead. He goes... You just hear mumble by Why? Enter, why? <laughs> and uh, well, he's, he's just staring. <laughs> I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna head back into town proper but i'm gonna ask the crowd just to 
move along because there's nothing left here. Yeah, a lot of them is like, who are you telling? Two of our people are dead. Who are you telling us to move? And it's being dealt with. Move. A couple of the guards bother and says, "Yeah, yeah, everyone, go back. We'll we'll do our best to clear this place up. So just everyone go away. We'll we'll have funerals in a day or two once we recover some whatever's left of them." Uh, you see that the one who stand up is wearing full plate mail, and you can tell by the insignia that he has a captain. So the people start to disperse, and a couple of them are still quite shaken. And he goes, "Quite." He walks up to you and goes, "Quite odd of you to run up to a wounded man like that. You didn't know if it was friend or foe." I could tell he was wounded. I wanted to assist. Who said? Why, why are you here? Um, I'm just a mere sellsword. I I work for whoever's willing to pay. But this is beyond my uh, professional capacities. Mm. Well, if you're a sales order, I suggest you probably either sign up with the army or try and find some business here. We're going to have to try and clear this up. I this. wouldn't advise touching that. You've seen what it's done to that yeah. guy. Yeah. I wouldn't you, advise you, putting water on it either. It might dilute it and make it less powerful, but it could still cause harm. Good point, good point. You see that he's he looks like he looks like he knows something he's not telling you, but he's just like he just mumbles to himself and he walks over and grabs a couple of guards to try and pour some water over the stuff. You see they're trying to clear up his basement, but you see that the priest, as soon as they come near the pile, he's just like, no, leave this one. And he, the priest just goes down and just starts holding his symbol and just starts floating down. Um, my charm around my neck, which is also the symbol of the... Uh, judges, yeah. Of the judges... Can I take that from out of my clothing and go and speak to the guard captain? He won't recognise the symbol nah, unless maybe. he knows of the order, will he? Yeah, so okay, it's... you you pull out your symbol, you, you walk over to the guard and you say something. I was just wondering if you maybe know something you're not saying about this incident. Uh, he turns around and goes, you, you see that he clearly knows your symbol, he just goes, look, I'm, t I'm not, t I've told you everything I know, just... Let us deal with the dead, at least. Okay, so... I'm gonna leave him to yeah. deal with that, because <laughs> that's beyond... I'm gonna send a message out to the judges for maybe some assistance. Okay, are you... Are um, you it's, gonna be, it's gonna be days away, but I'll, I'll put down the information that I have so far. Okay. Um, and say I'm going to investigate further. Okay, so you go and get uh, There isn't really a meal service in this world, um, but I'll say that... I'm going to say Carrier Raven or something uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, you, you go to yeah, a local... We, there's, in this town, there's not even like a carrier. Normally, we just hand something to uh, a messenger who, who would come through town. There is a messenger in town, uh, but to your knowledge, if you, the only way you, you only know of the... Your handler would contact you. You would only send like a, a letter to a town where to Gunther, Gunterra that's where you're told to send any information um, so if you were sending a messenger it could prove pricey um, so the only way you know to contact them is um, messenger or there is normally a judge agent in almost every town but there's no guarantee that there's one present here there normally is but you're unaware of anyone, really. How long would it take a, a message to get there? It's like this is going to be days. It's uh, at well, least weeks. two, maybe four weeks. That is, it's, uh, you, unless you're like a magic, unless you're like some kind of like magical spell to allow to communicate over vast distances, which you're doing, um, but. There normally is a judge, a, a judge agent in every town, but with a town as small as Fleta, it's, it's impossible to tell. But there is normally, there is, there is, you would also know that there are some, there might, there might be an agent in Huthera, but you're still not 100% certain. Normally the larger the city, the more 
um, ch chance of an agent being there. How painful did that look? <laughs> My knee just proper went on me. Uh, it looked a bit painful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very painful. Um, let's see. There's not any point in sending a message with hardly any information in it. All I've got is what's in front of me. Um, I think it's time that I took a look at the tower. Okay. Um, I'm not going to get too close to it though, and this is probably going to be pretty stupid if I'm dealing with the forces of evil, but I'm going to go at night as well, just for the best cover. Okay. Because I do have skills that can help. Uh, me. Uh, do you go to an inn and rest for a little bit? The the inn whose owner is now liquefied, basically. Uh, or do you just walk around town and just maybe pick up idle gossip and all that? Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit I, 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 slept, I slept on the way here and yeah. I made it in a little before midday, didn't I? So yeah, it's, it's a bit mid it's a bit early afternoon, like two or three. So there's no real, unless you have a Sunday, oh, there's no really way to tell time. <laughs> 